Hello everyone. Welcome back to Transport Fever 2. This is the Stepford map. Now we're sitting here over at Swallow Falls where we were doing some renovation last time around. Now we can see that uh, the AI has been building some stuff in the meantime. Now I was going to fling a, uh, a track around from Swallow Falls to Minas Tirith or something like that uh, this time around. Uh, but I'm thinking, hmm, I'm not sure that that's necessarily going to be the thing that I, I want to do here. Now, the reason I'm saying that is I, I think I kind of want to get the rest of the passenger network connected up. Uh, you know, get all these other towns connected up. Like the uh springfield uh, lilliput valley here or or what have you as we've we, over here in frostbite falls right uh well let's just take a look here we've got we've got way too many passengers at the airport okay well let's um let's look at this we have what on here we have a 757 which carries 50 right um can we replace these with something that carries more passenger that's 37 that's 50. yeah no we can't large um no that's small large yeah, the 757 is the is the uh, the biggest one. Well, in that case, I think perhaps what we should do looks like we have room for more aircraft on that line. Let's double the number of aircraft on that line. Now let's also take a look in here. I think the train stuff there is doing fine. Okay. So we've got a line up into here, uh, San Angeles uh, and El Dorado, uh, and also to Mayberry, right? Yes, we do have Mayberry. Uh, so it seems to me like we should get stuff up here into this area, um, perhaps. Now, how would I do that? Well, I could come out of Mayberry, have to add a second, uh, platform there, second track. Yeah. No, I, th I think that'd be too much hassle. Uh, okay. Uh, so getting in up here, how would, well, uh, you, what is it? Utopia might be the, uh, the right place for a hub thing there. So I guess if we were to come from somewhere over here to Utopia up to, Amber. Yeah. Yeah. I think, yeah, we'll come up Amber, uh, Utopia. And, uh, now where, uh, San Angeles maybe. Yeah. Maybe San Angeles. Um, right. Let's uh, take a look here. We have, we have the frostbite falls linkage there. That's a point to point. I could, uh, ooh, I could make that a, uh, another, I could make that a trunk line. Yeah, yeah, I, I could do that. Okay, so that would mean I'd need another platform here, because it'd be two-way, and then I'd need to crank it up and around. Yeah, I think that can be done. Okay. That's what I'm going to do. So we'll go in here. We'll configure the station, right? And we'll orient it so we can sort of see what we're doing. So we'll add another 
uh, track here, and we'll go over here. Passenger buildings, nope. Platforms, yep. We'll chuck a platform on here. Yep. And I guess we're also going to have to chuck a couple of these in. Yep. You know what? We'll uh, chuck a couple of roofs in, too. Yeah, that'll do. So that makes it look all nice and uh, s symmetrical or something. Now here, we got confused. Yeah, okay. Right. What are you doing? Oh, you're loading. Okay. So this... I need to do some some uh, track operations here. Right. So we're going to grab this. So this is going to have to come out like this. Probably up to... Probably like that. Okay. Right. Now here, I think we probably do want to huh yeah what do we want to do here well i think we want to come out flat here yeah and from here yeah right okay yeah that that's acceptable uh, from there. And we'll take this out. If I take that, yeah, I don't break anything if I do that. Okay. Well, let's see here. I can't remember. Is this flat coming out here? Mm, it's not straight at the very least. Okay. Now, if I do this... Do I get something horrid? Um, let's do this a little further. Um, I do get something horrid, right? Um, build it. Okay, now, what's it look like? Well, it might be tolerable. Uh, we can slip that. And we can slip that. Now, how bad does that look? Eh. Okay. Well, that lets us get... Uh, that lets us uh, interchange uh, traffic there. Now, this needs to go up so it can come over. So, we go up. Like that. Nope. Nope like that yes okay good now we are nowhere near high enough here yet so we need to keep going up um, oh yeah we need to keep going up so we'll do that yeah Now, are we up high enough where we can we can jump across? Well, if we do that, we kind of can there. If we keep going up, if we keep going maximum up, oh okay. We got a bridge pillar collision. Yeah, yeah, we do. What if we do this? We don't got a bridge pillar collision. That's only 50k. I think that's fine, but we're cranking it around too far, I think. Eh, maybe. Let's, uh, let's do that, though. Yeah, okay. Well, if we do that, bring this one around. Okay, yeah, we get around all of that business. Okay. Now, 
we need to make a uh, line for Utopia, and we're just about lined up for that, actually. So, um, so what happens if we just uh, make a beeline like this? Now, how bad? Yeah, I don't think we need to have that much of a. Yeah, I think that level of viaducting is probably fine there. Yeah. I don't mind a viaduct, really. Uh, it's actually a perfectly reasonable thing to be doing. Uh, this is something that actual railways do. Uh, and that gets us over the mess there. Now, out of curiosity, uh, what happens if we just come across flat here? We end up way too high, right? Well, yeah, we end up way too high. Okay, so if we come down, um, yeah, we can, we need to come down pretty substantial. Uh, right. Okay, but we do have a little bit of extra down bubble room right no we don't okay so we need to start going down bubble asap so that means getting past where's now if we do that okay that That doesn't collide there, does it? Oh, come on. Uh, doesn't look like it does. No, it doesn't look like it does, does it? Take it. You're taking it. Okay. Now, if we shove that through... Yeah, see, I don't see any reasonable way uh, around just punching through the mountain here. So we're going to punch through the mountain here. Now, uh, we want maximum down as well. Uh, now, how am I going to come around in here? I probably want to come in along probably probably want to come in along here yeah I probably do so I'm actually going to swing around this way though that gives me a longer down run uh, and then I can come around like this and have issues So I'm kind, I kind of want to come around like that. There's too much slope. Now there's a collision or something. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll uh, take that out. Okay. Come around this way. And we can have a slightly less down bubble there. Yeah. No. Well, that lets us go over. We're coming up that way, though. What if we do this? Oh, interesting. We can actually... Uh, link up on that. Can we link up over here? Oh. That might be interesting. No, we're, we're going this way, though. So we want to come up on this side. Hmm...
Um, so we kind of want to come down here, don't we? Yeah, we kind of do. That's the wrong side. Um, too much slope. Why? Where is that too much slope? Oh, we're, uh, we're crossing there, right. Well, no. Um, well, if we come in here, back this up a bit. Uh, yeah, okay. Now, what happens if we come this way? Um, down. Well, we can get on this side. Um, okay. Well, let's bring this up. Yeah. Uh, like this, right? Yeah, kind of like that. Okay. Now, if we bring this side out this way, um... We can come around over here. Yeah. I think... I think that works. Okay. So we come under everything. Okay, I think that's going to work. Good. Uh, right. So we'll grab our concrete uh, bridge thing. Well, what if we uh, grab a uh, embankment? Yeah. Yeah, that's what we'll grab. Okay, so we'll do that. And finish up pairing that up. Yep. Okay, so we got we got tracks coming through the mountain, and we're coming up over here. Okay. Now, Utopia needs a station going somewhere, and I think that station needs to. I think it needs to be along here for sure. Or does it? Hmm. Hmm. I think it does. Okay, well, we'll take this stuff out. Because it's in the way. Right. We can definitely put a station there. So, uh, buildings, station, two tracks, max length, high speed, good. Um, so, pause, station, so we want to put it, I don't know, about like, say, here, yeah, oh, it's autosave, yay, Okay, so this is just going to be Utopia, not Utopia Sightings. Okay, good. Now, we should be able to get tracks down uh, into here. And we can. Good. Okay. Well, that will definitely get us into uh, Utopia. Good. Now, out of Utopia, we want to go up to Amber. And I think we can just blast through and follow the road here. And this, well, I think we can follow this track up here, actually. So where does that track come from? Okay, it comes over there. So we're on the wrong side of it. Okay. Well, that means we need to... Bail out of here, maybe like that. Yeah, maybe like that. Um, yeah. Okay, so if we go around... 
Yeah, I think perhaps I'm going to want to, I'm just going to do the maneuvering here. And now if we go up here, I definitely want to be on this side. No, I'm going here. I definitely want to be on this side at Amber. Um, yeah, so it's this track I want to, to aim at. Okay. Yeah, right. Well, um, we'll make, really make that concrete. Yeah, good. Okay, now, if we come around here, we should be able to... Well, we can come around like that. Yeah. You're going to just build that, aren't you? Yeah, I'm going to build that, and then I'm going to bring this up across the bridge. Yeah. Which side is that on? Okay. Okay, so I'm going to need another track coming across like that. What? We have a collision. Okay. Well, if this goes just a little bit further, can we avoid the collision? No. We need to rebuild the bridge. I see. Okay, well, we'll rebuild the bridge. Uh, okay. Now, can we get this one to work? Collision. Apparently not. Okay. Well... What happens if we chuck a track in here and then chuck a track across like that and use a concrete bridge? Uh, that's not going to work. Actually, that might. Uh, and we chuck that one across. Yeah. And then we chuck this one across. A bridge pillar collision. Yeah, it is a bridge pillar collision. Um, right, that's annoying. Okay, what if we... You know what? This might be a prime candidate for the pillarless um, uh, variant. Uh, okay, so we, we do this. No. We do this. Yeah, then we come up here like that, and we select, um, go down here, select that one. Yeah, it's a short span really, so we should be able to get away with this. Collision, right, take that out, take that out, now, uh, try that again. Go again. Collision. Um, it looks rather like you need to build uh, this this one first. Collision. No collision. Okay. Uh, no. I uh, come down here. Grab that. Okay. Now, will that work? And will that work? Okay, we've got a bridge working. Yay! Connect that. Okay. Now, this means you need to bring this around like that. I think that's acceptable there. Uh, this will have to come around as w oh come on uh, do that and this comes around here okay now we can just jump into the tunnel right yeah okay we're in the tunnel now we need to bring the other track around this way 
I could definitely do this better, but I'm going to do it this way. Uh, I know somebody's going to go, well, why didn't you do X? Well, the answer is obviously because I didn't. Um, okay, so now uh, we can make use of our existing tunnel. Um, this is apparently going to be harder than it should be. Uh, no, I don't want it to. Okay, we'll do that. And we'll do that. Okay. Good. So the idea here is we get the track through the tunnel. See, I could uh, just uh, upgrade the existing tracks and uh, merge everything in the uh, for the tunnel uh, if if I uh, didn't have a ridiculous amount of cash here. Okay, well that finally snapped. Okay, uh, right. Uh, and further along here. I think I might have uh, a plan for an additional connection out of that uh, that station there. Uh, and that might uh, benefit from having that track set up that we've just done and make it look absolutely clever or something. Uh, okay, so we'll do that, that, okay. That's not snapping, is it? No, well it is there. Okay, well that comes out. That is not snapped. Okay, well, let's try that again. Okay. Nope. Okay, that appears to be snapped in properly. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, that gets us through there. Good. Now... We got another bridge issue here, don't we? Yeah, I think we do. Okay, you can come through. Yeah. But can you? Oh. It does work. Nice. Just barely, but it works. Yep. That's acceptable. Okay. Now we can get into Amber, where I think I'm just going to stick the station right here. So if we do that, this might not be a complete terminus station in the end, but uh, I'm going to build this as a two-track station anyway just in case and I think we can put it exactly there uh, and that's gonna be just amber yes good now I just need to fling the track around to that right um, like that do that yeah that I think is acceptable okay good that didn't connect. Well, that would have confused you forever. Uh, right. Now, put one of these in. You probably don't need a full X there. Well, I'm putting one anyway. Uh, now, of course, we need to stick some signals on here. We don't need a ridiculous number of them, I don't think. But we do need a few. Now the point of that is to have uh, the ability to have multiple trains along here, right? Uh, so if we put that here, yeah, and then uh, I think we can. We'll probably want one set there, 
and maybe over here and definitely over here yep and it seems to me over here and then a few along here okay right right and that's definitely there okay well yeah i think we've got uh slow track here so it probably makes sense okay now what i'm going to do uh, is grab this one uh, and this is going to be renamed to the Frostbite Falls uh, Amber Trunk. Yeah. Okay. Now, we're going to manage the line. Okay. Frostbite Falls Airport, Frostbite Falls, San Angeles. Add. Now we go from San Angeles up to here and then from there up to there and then back down to here and then back to San Angeles right yes okay and we'll go back in here yeah we're gonna manage the vehicles and I'm pretty sure we're going to need at least three trains on here. Uh, but I'm going to put four just because it's a nice long line. And now let's see where's this guy at. Headed for Frostbite Falls. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's get the, uh, the train running here. Well, that's an exciting bridge set up there. Uh, right. So we get, we have the train running. Now it's just a matter of, does the rest of that track look even remotely good? Probably not. Uh, problem is, we don't have a train going in the right direction here. Uh, well, maybe... Uh, where is this one at? Uh, you're going... Ah, we can grab that one. Okay, so we're, j we're starting out here, and then... Yeah. Yeah, this one is uh, going to get up there faster, so... Wow, we got a lot of people on the platform here. Okay, so we pick up people at the airport. A full load, probably. Yeah, it looks like there will definitely be a full load here. Yeah, we picked up 160 people here, so we might need we might need more than uh, four trains on here. Okay, now we uh, trundle down off the uh, the plateau here to the to Frostbite Falls. Look at all them skyscrapers, eh? Now, the question is, how many of these people are going to Frostbite Falls, and how many are going further? This is actually a longer distance than, than I thought it was. Right. So we stop off here, then we head on up to the next valley.
Oh yeah, there's a lot of people heading up to the airport as well, so... Yeah. Okay, we're dropping off a bunch of people here. About half the load. Okay. Now we're going to pick up the people that were waiting. And that's... Uh, yeah, and we've got space on the train for the next hop. Okay. So now we head off for San Angeles. And we've got... Well, we've got a Helix in here, don't we? Yeah, this is a... Uh, a longer uh, line here than than one might have thought it would be. I do have another map uh, mostly set up for uh, for the next uh, next series on Transport Fever 2. It's going to be a slightly different uh, setup than this. Uh, it's going to have uh, well, fewer towns, I think, for one. And uh, it's going to involve uh, connecting things up uh, more completely. It's also going to involve a mod uh, for increased uh, industry production because it just looked dumb with the number of industries I needed uh, when I placed enough for everything to work so yeah it's going to be uh it's going to be interesting uh i'm, I'm still tinkering with uh with the uh, mod setup for it so i'm not quite sure exactly what the situation is going to be but it's going to involve a lot more long haul rail lines Probably, well, maybe not more long haul, but it's going to involve uh, possibly some long haul, uh, uh, you know, freight hub setups. And it's also going to be uh, conducive, I think, to running passenger air between, uh, uh, between locations. So uh, we'll see. Uh, it's definitely... Uh, it's a work in progress, but it's definitely a plan for the uh, the next uh, next Transport Fever series. There is uh, an update to Transport Fever 2 coming somewhere along the way. It's available in the beta version right now, uh, but I can't actually run it on on my machine. Uh, it's uh, it's actually crashing out and not giving any indication why. So hopefully. Uh, hopefully, Urban Games can figure that out. Uh, you know, I've um, I've been in contact with them uh, on that, so hopefully they can figure it out. Uh, because no doubt it will uh, it will improve things for everybody if it doesn't crash. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, really. Um, this bridge setup here is just odd. I'm gonna leave it, but that's just odd. Yeah, these are, are long segments along this this line. Ah, yeah, we're coming into uh, into San Angeles now. Oh, and there's the uh, new track coming out at the end of the station there. Looks like we have a couple people to pick up here, so that's a good sign. If there's people headed up to uh, Utopia.
Okay, and we stop. We dropped off most of our people here. Interesting. And we're going to pick up 20-odd eh, for uh, for Utopia. So, yeah, these lines are definitely going to get used, so that's, that's good. Hmm. You know, I don't think this is this is too bad here. Well, uh, okay, so this viaduct actually looks okay, uh, at least from the train. So, yeah, I think that's that's cool. And then we've got the tunnel that just looms into place there. Right? And this is the uh, long long tunnel punching through the mountain range. Right, okay, so... So this new line definitely has, uh, has paid off uh, already. Uh, we definitely have uh, people using it, so I'm, I'm good there. Uh, hopefully, uh, once the uh, the all of the uh, the the stuff filters through in the game, um, all of these uh, destinations actually uh, actually uh, take some traffic off the uh, the the road network. But whether it does or not, uh, that's uh, that's a different uh, different question. Now, you know, somebody uh, the other uh, posted on one of the uh, other episodes in the series that I should build motorways around the the edges of uh, of the towns to help with the traffic. Well, it turns out uh, I actually tried that uh, on a couple of uh, towns in the uh, dense corner there in the other corner of the map, and uh, it just, it didn't actually help. Uh, you know, I did did that off camera, and it, it really didn't help. Uh, the traffic either insisted on going straight through the towns anyway, or it uh, it just jammed the motorway and and then backed up into the rest of the roads anyway. Uh, so yeah. Uh, that was not, uh, you know, because I thought, yeah, you know, that that would help, you know, give it somewhere for the traffic to go, you know, give it some bypasses or whatever, but it didn't use them, or it used them too much. Uh, so, yeah, it's uh, not the easiest thing to, to figure out. Like, I, I do get how the traffic works in the game, uh, and it's, uh, it's a little, like, it's pretty simplistic. Uh, that's not... That's not knocking it, because traffic in general is pretty simplistic. But there's no dynamic rerouting uh, if there's if the traffic gets stuck, uh, you know, in a traffic jam. So that makes uh, that makes a huge difference, right? Uh, as it means if you change something, any any traffic that's stuck in a traffic jam doesn't reroute, and uh, 
Yeah, I think that's one of the uh, one of the problems we have. You, know, you, have, you have to wait for that that traffic to either time out uh, and despawn or get to its destination. New trips will use new transport infrastructure, but uh, it all they also go for the fastest route as if there's no traffic. So uh, that's often the shortest route, and and that's uh, that's a major. Uh, major thing now I will probably uh, once I've finished monkeying around with most of these uh, passenger connection bits I will probably go back and and try to uh, uh, rejigger some uh, road setups so that there's uh, there's some uh, through traffic connections and limit the connections into and out of the town so the local traffic doesn't use the motorway type connections uh, I, I think that will will make uh, make a, uh, a significant difference right overall uh, but that's a lot of fiddling and I haven't had the time to do that off camera and I'm not sure how engaging that would be on camera so I'm gonna have to do some uh, poking around you know like it's uh, you know it's, it's been a little while since I tried the uh, the motorway trick and uh, yeah I'm not not sure if there was other factors or not, but once the uh, the transportation network, the trains and so on, gets uh, more complete, uh, I think some of the traffic in those other cities will just go away anyway, because a lot of it is coming from areas, coming from or going to areas that aren't serviced by a transportation line, and that is going to be contributing more than uh, road design to traffic overload. Uh, and so I want to get more faster connections uh, between uh, towns so I can encourage uh, people to use the, uh, you know, encourage the uh, travelers to use the trains instead of the, uh, uh, you know, uh, getting out their pocket cars and driving away, right? Yeah, I kind of like the the setup here where we've where I've uh, you know put the four tracks through the one tunnel, and uh, and we come out out uh, headed for Amber here. But anyway, it looks like the uh, the tracks have uh, set up properly in the tunnels, uh, so that's good. And we're just coming into that uh, final end point station here, and. Uh, yeah, we'll be good. Uh, so this is definitely going to be the end of the uh, the episode here. The uh, you know getting all of this uh, this uh, train ride in here, and here we go. Yep, yeah, there's people waiting to go back the other way. So so these uh, this line is definitely going to take passengers. Uh, and that's without putting any local transportation in Amber or Utopia. So there's that. But anyway, uh, that's definitely going to be going to be it for this uh, this episode. So uh, I'll jump out of here, and uh, and we can see the uh, we can see the train uh, doing its thing. And uh, we're picking up 40 going back the other way. So, yeah, uh, this is definitely going to uh, pay off, at least for passengers moved. Anyway, uh, that's going to be all for this time. So stay healthy. Uh, don't let the ongoing apocalypse get you down too much, uh, especially now that there's a light at the end of the tunnel. And see you back next time.